it is one thing for cops to be so corrupt that they cause immense physical harm to innocent citizens, but what happens when they go too far and feel no remorse? Here are four cases of corrupt cops who celebrated after killing. Tony, look at me, bro. Hey, Tony, chill out, man. Give me, gun. Give me, please, give me. Just take me down. Don't. No, you're fine. Don't hurt me. We're not gonna hurt you, bro. We're not gonna hurt you, bro. Hey, relax, man. Get you some help, Tony. Relax, man. Just stay down. Hey, Tony, 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 Tony. Stop it. This is Tony Timpa, who had taken illegal drugs that had messed with his mind such that the police had to make an appearance. He was also suffering from schizophrenia and was experiencing the adverse effects of not having taken his medication. The police arrived, supposedly to help, but they only made matters worse. Oh, oh no, please. You're going to be What's your last name, Tony? Please! We're not gonna hurt you, okay? But you need to relax. Okay? What'd you take today? What did you take? Oh god, I can't feel! Hey, 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 what did you take? Help me! Hey, what did you take? Help me! Tony. Tony, what did you take today? What did you take? Well, Jelly, but you gotta let me do it a little bit. Hey. Help me! Well, he was trying to get on the bus. I was trying to stop him. Hey, 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 hey. That's all we got. Help me! Tony the cops had handcuffed Tony so that he wouldn't hurt them or himself. But one particular officer decided to go the extra mile and put his entire weight on the screaming man for over 15 minutes. You don't need to be squirming, man. Stop. We're trying to get you help, man. Stop. All right? Man. Okay, so. I stop. I stop. I stop. Please look at me. Look. Please, please. That has two call sheets on this one. Hey, what's, uh, this might have come out of his pocket. What the hell is that? Yeah. Yeah, Tony Tempest. Yeah! He finally, he finally said, Yacht Club and Rockwell, that's Okay, please let me go, please. Hey, Tony. Please let me go. Yeah. Oh. What is it? Just another day? Okay. Yeah. I want to do this. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. 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 No. No. Oh, I know. Uh. Uh. Zip, yeah. Sir. Yeah. I got zip cuffs in my yeah. Yeah. Right, need the trunk of the that's good. Like God. Help me! in the back trunk. Help! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Hey, I'm gonna try to change the cuffs. Okay, Tony. Help me! Tony. Help me! What'd you take today? What'd you take? Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm down like this because they had him sitting down. He's like rolling, rolling. I was like, oh, yeah, this is not yeah. schizophrenia. He, 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 he took so. something. <laughs> hey, Tony, what'd you take? Oh. 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 Hey, he's, he took something. What's the plan? We're the HMFIC out here, sir. Well, they can ride both. Like they can both ride in the back. I'll drive the ambulance. <laughs> Despite all of Tony's screams, the officer did not remove his weight from his back and kept it there until Tony's screams dwindled into silence. Even then, it still was not enough to alert the cops that something must have gone terribly wrong. He was coming. Tony, you still with us? Yeah, right, bud. You gonna be all right? Is he acknowledging him? He's moving. Oh, I thought sure. he nodded yes to your question. Tony. 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 He's breathing. Tony. I'll, I'll make sure he was still breathing. Yeah. <laughs> his nose is buried in there. I think he's, he's, yeah, he's still breathing. He just snorted. <laughs> Tony. What the f***? Is he asleep? <laughs> he's asleep. <laughs> he's snoring. That's what it was. Yeah, he's asleep. Wow. Tony! Tony! Start to school. Wake up. 
First day, you can't be late. Tony. You bought your new shoes for the first day of school, <laughs> come on. I made breakfast, grabbed eggs, your favorite. You got waffles. Waffles. Fruity tooty fruity waffles. Oh, I think shit. he's out cold now. Yeah, he's, this might wake him up. Huh? I don't know, he just got quiet. All of a sudden, just whoop. The dark hand? Oh, there he comes. Sound like he was snoring. The cops foolishly assumed that Tony had fallen asleep when he stopped making any sound, and they even took to making fun of him. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Be fine to go to CIT calls. <laughs> I'm closer now, I'm all closer. <laughs> Wait for me. I think we can get him on the stretcher. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's my other part? Turn him over. Let's turn him this way. Is he knocked out or he ain't dead, is he? Nah, he just moves. Oh, okay. I think I'll go free. Uh, he didn't just die down there, did he? I don't think he did. Is he breathing? I hope I didn't kill him. It's all this weed <laughs> I, <lied> it. <laughs> I love how this became a weed. Yeah, we ain't friends. Exactly. It's <laughs> Awesome. What's the name be? Hey, Domingo, find his car. I have no idea. I'm kind of curious to see. Can you have a bag? No, I gave you my last one. He didn't have much stuff, though. He's not breathing? Nope. Oh, sh**. Fire. Oh. He ain't breathing, bro. We all put on some gloves when he's chest compressions. He ain't breathing. So he was fighting and then just gave up? Hey, uh, I've got her and his mom on the phone, and she knows all this stuff. He's dead. He's what? He's dead. Well, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, CPR before? Even after the EMTs declared Tony dead, one could not hear the sound of remorse in the cop's voice as they realized that they had taken the life of an innocent man who only wanted help. These cops may be as terrible as it gets, and even though the next case doesn't end in outright murder, the officers are just as bad. I think she just keeps rambling. The CRT is busy, of course. Her name's LaDonna. No, no, LH, LH, don't do that. Don't do it. Hey, LaDonna, open the door. Don't do that. LH, where's she spraying? Oh, she's spraying air freshener. What the f***? Yeah. yeah. That's why I try to get up CRT here, but... It's unlocked. Oh, it is? Hey, LaDonna, open the door. She is spraying air freshener at us. Who? You need who to come say it to you? Her niece. She wants her niece, who's like in California. I'm trying to call you, but I don't have my phone, I realized. Okay, well, LaDonna, they want you to leave, so I'm gonna need you to come out, okay? She is banned from the property. The property owners want you to leave. They said that you're banned, so if you come out and leave, because you won't come out of the bathroom, they want you to leave. I have diarrhea vomiting. Is that a sin? Or I'm breaking the law? 
since 11. I told you it's LH stands for four hours. They said you've been here for four hours. Tulsa police officers responded to a 911 call about a woman who had locked herself in a store bathroom and was refusing to leave. This woman was a 70 year old named LaDonna who was experiencing what was possibly a psychotic breakdown. The cops who arrived at the scene, however, couldn't care less about the state of her mental health. Well, you know, time to speak. Too bad it doesn't go like this way. I know, right? They're trying to break down the door. I'll say Quit spraying the door. Quit spraying the door. No, you come out and leave. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I love my job. You guys are going to need new air freshener. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Nobody's trying to kill you. They want you to leave. Okay, it's unlocked. I can feel like the tension from her hand just yeah. holding it. Mm -hmm. You literally just bars through. Yeah, I literally, yeah. Once she runs out of air freshener. Yeah, once she runs out, once she runs out, once she runs out, once she runs out, Is that a lighter? She's about to light. The female cop found it amusing that the woman was experiencing a crisis that wasn't letting her act rationally. She frequently made jokes about the situation and laughed, all while threatening LaDonna from behind the door. They told you to leave and you refused to leave and now you're trespassing and you're trying to set the building on fire. Yes, you are. You have a lighter and aerosol in there and I can hear it. Yeah. You are not trying to save anything. God. It's going to be a bad time for you if you don't open the door. It's going to be a bad time if you don't open the door. You're going to go in handcuffs and you're going to go to jail. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's right. Open the door. Well, you're going to go, so it's going to be a great time. Well, then open the door and come out now. Right now. Right now. Okay. Look this. Oh you want to get tased? Don't do it. Zero five five one two four. Then come out. Okay, come on. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Open the door. The taser didn't scare her. The taser didn't scare her. Well, she's just pretty smooth see in there. I'm not calling anybody else. You're gonna open the door. It's the lock. I'm trying to keep that. Jesus, gotcha. <laughs> There's gonna be fire, like flames coming out. I'm gonna kick this door down and rip you out of there. Oh, it's Raiders coming. Jesus. Jesus. Eventually, the evil cops decided to break down the door, not caring how close LaDonna was to it on the other side. As expected, the outcome was bloody. You think you can get it with your own legs? You're a big one. Ready? Yep. Rufus, I need you, Rufus. I need you, Rufus. Oh, she's got um, uh, oh, oh, What are you doing that to me? Cast? I need you, my son, cast. I need my son. Stop. Rufus, I need you. Hold on. Stop it. LH, LH, stop it. Stop it, you're hurting me. Okay, I'll go to jail. I don't mind. I don't want to. Stop it. <laughs> Give it your own now. Oh, boy, it's my shepherd. Come on, boy. You need to do it. Oh, you're a story, Michael. Show me to do some mercy. You're pulling me all day. Get your hands out of my pants. That is so nasty. Yeah, this was unnecessary. You're right. We didn't have to do any of this. And I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's clean the blood. Let's clean the blood of this. <coughs> Sure. LH, this is not right. It's not right, sir. It's really not. My brain calls me. Yep. Get up. Uh, Out of 322. Thank you. Thank you. Can Thank we get him, sir? This is not right, sir. Okay, stand up for me. Okay, stand up for me. I can't. Okay, all right, all right. Just, I'm climbing. I'm climbing. I'm climbing. Heather, Heather, would you call Cass, my son? Why? What did I do? Okay, all right. Whatever. I'm trying to do the best I can. Not my rings. Please, my rings, please. Can I have my rings? Why are you taking my rings? Why? I don't understand. 
Why, why are you yeah. doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, that's cute. After all that? That's cute. What, who was she? Isn't she like in cartoons or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, who is that? It's, I've uh, seen it before. But. LaDonna was clearly in distress and didn't understand anything that was going on around her. The video of this violent and unprofessional arrest went viral and the internet railed against the cruelty of the cops. Yet nothing was done about it, giving other corrupt police officers leeway to carry out their gross misconduct. But this isn't the only time when multiple corrupt cops band up against an innocent and harmless civilian. In fact, these next cops take the cruelty to a whole new level. I don't think you want to play it this way. Ma'am, please stop. You want to stop with lights on, siren? Stop. You just left Walmart. Do you need to be arrested right now? No, no, no. Okay. Let's stop. Come on. Come on. I'm going home. No, 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 on the ground. Stay on the ground. I'm going home. I'm going home. On the ground. On the ground. Oh. On the ground. Oh. Bravo 242. On the 26th of June, Karen Gartner, a 73 year old woman suffering from dementia, attempted to leave a Walmart without paying for her $13 purchase. She was stopped by the staff and the goods were taken from her, even though she tried to pay. The staff didn't stop there but called the police on the helpless woman. The cops would then accost her on the way home and make a bad day worse. Right now you're resisting, which is not going to fly with me. And before that, you tried to steal from Walmart. And they caught you and took the stuff back. Stand up. Oh, boy. I'm not going in. <laughs> Why are you fighting with me? And why are you trying to slip the cuffs off? I'm going home. Stop. I'm going home. No, you're not. Are you finished? Are you finished? We don't play this game. You understand me? And if you try to kick me, oh, this is going to be bad. I'm going home. Stop. I'm going hey. home. I'm going home. Are you finished? I'm going home. Hey, stand up. We're not going to hold you. All right, let's just go to the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Why are you doing this? Let's see who she is. I'm going home. I'm going home. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to search her real quick. Oh, I don't know. No, we wrestled for a minute. And she was almost got her handcuffs off. I'm going home. No, you're not. All right, stand up. I'm going home. All right, stand up. The goods were no longer with her and she hadn't caused any more problems, still the cop decided to treat the woman violently and physically assault her. A bystander who had watched this horrifying situation unfold approached the cop for an explanation. Quit! Quit! What? What are you doing? Get out of here. This is not your business. Come on. Get in! There you go. What's that? Where's your sergeant? Huh? Who's my sergeant? Yeah. Okay, well, first, I can tell you that. Sergeant Metzler, he's at the police department. You can uh -huh. go talk to him if you have an issue. Yeah, give me your car so I can put a report. Okay. I see you is there, how you throw that little kid. Little kid? Well, I don't he's know. Not if a little a kid. kid. And this he, is was, what he was just walking, and uh -huh. I see you how she you just grab him. Stole from Walmart, 
and refuse to stop, refuse to listen to lawful orders, and to fight me. This is what happens when you fight the police. I have to use force to fa safely detain her. That's what this is. This isn't just some random act of aggression. Oh, well, because, I don't know if you way, realize that. Yeah, well, the way that I see it from over there, okay. you know, I was like, that's no... But you see, you don't know the whole situation. That's the thing. Yeah, you know, but it's like... But you knowing see, the situation, do you feel differently know. now? Oh, yeah. But you know, it. like seeing it from there, that, that guy just walking. Yeah, I get that. Know. I get that. So when I went to go grab her and talk to her, she started running, leaving, pulling away from me, well, trying to fight me. Well, that's the thing. I didn't see it running, exactly. you know? Exactly. So before you go to a snap judgment, you gotta get all the facts. But right here, she wasn't running. I get she, that. I see her walking right yeah. there. You pull right. over. I gotta deal with walking. this. You hang tight, okay? Unapologetic about his cruelty and unprofessional behavior, the officer shut down the bystander quickly, claiming that he didn't know the whole story. Get your feet in the car. Let me see your feet. Oh, okay, let's uh. Get my whisper. Let's get her out over here on the ground. We can hobble her, and then we'll get her in the car. On the ground. On the ground. On the ground. We will figure that out. It's way easier. Stop doing that. I'm going. All right. She stole some stuff and they caught her before she left and got it back and then she ran out. So we have the. And then you contacted her for that. And, and then she, she resisted and obstructed. And obstructed. And resisted, so we're good either way. So we're good either way. Either way, cool. she's going. All right. If they decide not to prosecute, I don't care. Cool. cool. Okay, we'll head down there. The other cop who came to the scene was just as bad, and rather than caution her colleague, she only served to aid his misconduct. To make matters worse, the pair would gloat and laugh over their violent treatment of a helpless 73-year-old woman as they watched the body cam footage. types of cops are the ones that give the police force a bad name with their lack of conscience and complete disregard for other humans. But to cap it all, what you're about to hear is the voice of the most sadistic cop of all time. Seattle police officer Kevin Dave was speeding down the road in response to a high priority call when he accidentally hit an innocent civilian, Janavi Kandula, in a fatal strike. This is what a fellow officer, Dave Otterer, had to say about the incident. Um, I'm sure. Uh TCIS is, and I, uh, oh, he's good. He says, well, normally we don't give voluntary statements, and I said, hey, you're going to have to decide if you wanted to give a statement or not, but it does not seem like there's a criminal investigation going on. Otherwise, there would be other, 
What's that? Yeah. Otherwise, there might be other people arriving, correct? Yeah. I mean, he's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. Yeah. Lights and sirens. Yeah, well, there's some... The, initially, uh, he said she was in a crosswalk. Uh, there's a witness that says, no, she wasn't. But that witness could be different because I don't think she was thrown 40 feet either. Uh, I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield. Then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> To make matters worse, Otterer wasn't even done yet. He had more despicable words in him. No, it's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah, just write a check. Just... Yeah, <laughs> what? $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. Those were probably the last words you expected to hear from a police officer about the killing of an innocent person, but this is what corrupt police officers are like when impunity is the order of the day. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.